Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Iris Dragon Gaming. Today I'm playing a Pokemon that I don't play all that often, and I honestly couldn't tell you why, because this thing is super fun to play. And that would be Serena. And I'm running the Triple Axle Grassy Glide moveset. And my buddy tried to get me to play this for a long time, and I was just like anti-Grassy Glide. I thought it was dumb, but I played quite a bit of Serena yesterday, and, and I gotta tell you, it was... It's a good time. This Pokemon is really fun to play, even if it's not the strongest Pokemon in the meta right now. It had its time. It's fine. I, I kind of wish I had started playing it when it was uh, just literally stomping on on everybody in Thea Sky Ruins, but it is what it is. I'm playing it now, and I'm having a good time. My items for it are Attack Weight, Focus Band, and an Energy Amp. Give it a shot, guys. Just give it a shot. And the emblems for this one, instead of the brown-white emblems, I am running white-brown emblems to focus more on some higher HP, some tankiness to keep Serena on the map a little bit longer. And in this match, for whatever reason, my mic wasn't uh, receiving audio, so we're gonna do this as just kind of a little voiceover. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of this gameplay. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep living the dream. Alright, so we come into this match. After our gank, John Lear came down, we getting some stacks in. Our Shifu's doing our Shifu stuff, not caring about the slow zone. Now it's time to come back and just get some farm. See the Zashi in there, but as you guys saw previously, we're not afraid of a Zashin. We're Serena. We've got our triple axle. We about to get our level six, which means we getting our grassy glide, and now we have access to our queenly majesty. It is a showstopper from here. And this LD is very aggressive. Look at that grassy glide. Hits it, pulls it out of the goal. All right, getting my boosteds ready to move in with Queenly Majesty for all the extra moves you get, all the immediate cooldowns. Let's go. We triple axle through, we grassy glide, boom, pop them out, we get the KO there, and back into our moves. Bam. That's four stacks. Not five stacks, because they broke it, but it's okay. It's moving in. I have one point. I can get the stack and probably get out. Boom, boom, boom. Use the triple axle to stop the Grassy Glide uh, pullback. So that we managed to get out of that. Pick that up. Metal Claw Zashian wants some, so we give him some. Now we can probably look for the objective, but they're, they're pushing top. They're getting that top Reggie. So we're just going to sit here and make sure they don't rip this one. They get too aggressive, we can move in on them, no problem. Boom, get back here. That's right. Queenly Majesty still up, ready to go. And with that, looks like it's time for me and LD to just get this objective. They're working on top. Ivysaur's moving into the jungle. Needs to evolve, I get it. So we secure Reggie Steel. That should be a big help for the top lane, guys. And I just want to get fully stacked, get my Unite. You see that the triple axle cancels the pullback on the grassy, grassy glide. Got my Unite now, and man, I sure would like to Unite that Glaceon, not going to lie. And we do, and we get the KO. That's an Energy Amp power. We get another KO here. Move back into the goal, we score some more. Just for that Unite charge, you know, we've got our Triple Axle Plus now. Microdose that Unite back some more. And now we're going to look to invade their jungle, because I'm Serena, who's going to stop me? Oh, Blue Buff's going to stop me, but that's fine. <laughs> Top lane being super aggressive, pushing no problem up there. Delphox is moving in on my Eldegoss. I see Gudra coming. I'm just working my stacks up. 
Uh-uh, get back here. Now, do you like being pulled? I believe I said right there. <laughs> oh, Unite, back up already. Let's go. Looking for the Zashian. I snap back a little bit there. I'm just... <laughs> Tried to eject back down after it, but it was just a scuff play all the way around. Got two charges to the Queenly Majesty, which means the cooldown resets are imminent. Exhibit A. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Unite the Glacian again, because hey, you shouldn't be that broken. I'm actually more worried about the Glacian than the Zashian at this point. And we're just, we're just chopping through them. But, they get us in the end. That's fine. Oh, Ooh, Unite's coming out. There we go. Beam's coming out. Delphox Unite coming out. That's not good. This Lapras is just chilling in Delphox's Unite. It's a terrible place to hang out. It looks like we are once again going after a top objective, which is great. Pushing towards their tier 2 would have been nice, but that is a super early surrender. And you see me there pumped. Uh, I don't play a lot of Serena, guys, but I started playing it yesterday for some reason, and this is, this is just how it turned out. It was a super fun match, and that is... That's how you get a quick surrender. Just bully in both lanes, all match, huge score. Shout out to Water Bear. We did manage eight KOs, three assists, most KOs in the match, 50k damage. Not bad when we still had a few minutes of the match left. Probably could have got a little bit more, you know, but that's how it goes. Like I said, eight and three, 50k damage. Not a bad Serena match. Sure would like that. Serena to be a little bit stronger, but you know what? I think it might be strong enough. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Keep living the dream.